let's sprinkle in some particles to enhance the look of our block. Let's see how to do that. We find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and we're jumping right in. Firestone block class and there we will add some custom particles. So the custom particles I was asked about a few times already and while what we're gonna do right now might not be satisfactory for everyone, I think that if you know some of the basics on how to add particles, I think that you're gonna actually be able to do whatever you might want to. In a block class, so we need a custom block class, we can overwrite the animate tick method. And the animate tick method is a method that is only called on the client. This only happens for the render thread. So we can basically there add some particles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a chance to spawn particles, for example, something like, I don't know, 35%, for example. And then what we'll say is we're gonna say, okay, if chance is smaller than rand, rand dot next float, then we're going to spawn the particles. And of course you can change this. You can also say, ah, no, no, I actually want to spawn this all the time. Uh, you can also change the number here, whatever. This is definitely not necessary. What is necessary is the next thing. And that is going to be world dot add particle. So you can almost say, wait, that's that's the only method that I need to call? Yes, world.addParticle is the method you need to call. Now there are some interesting things here. So there are different types of particles. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say particle types.flame. And then what it wants, it wants, uh, first of all, the position. So this is going to be position.getx, comma, position.gety, comma, position.getz or z. And then we have the speed which we're simply gonna set to 0d, 0d, 0d. And now this will actually already spawn flame particles. The only issue is that this will spawn the flame particles at pretty much exactly the bo bottom right corner of the block, which is not quite where we want it. So we're actually going to change up where this spawns. And the idea is that, that we're going to say, okay, rand.next double. So we're gonna say next double here. And then we're gonna say the same for the z coordinates. So rand.get next or next double, there you go. And then we're gonna up the y coordinate by just half. So something like 0 0.5 and then let's do this. And then also add some, just like a little bit of speed, like 0 0.5, 0 0.05, like just really, just like tiny bit of speed into the upward direction. And this is of course something that you just need to play around with a little bit, where you wanna spawn the particles and how fast you want them to be. I definitely uh, advise to err on the side of caution here on the speed because the speed, if you make it too fast, it's just going to shoot out crazily. But maybe that's, of course, maybe that's something that you want. So I can just uh, advise to play around with this. And I would actually say, let's take a look at how these particles look. And then we will see another type of particle that we can also make. So let's see. Right. So if I take the fire block then and set it down, you can see that now it spawns some nice fire particles basically all over the block. So that actually looks really cool, really nice. Um, I gotta say that that's, I, I actually really like that effect. Just play around with the numbers a little bit and then you're gonna get probably the effect that you want. But now I actually wanna show you something else. Now here, of course, we've used the particle type flame and there are some, like there's quite a few that you can use here, of course. So I would definitely advise to just try out a few ones. And there's another one and I'm just gonna copy this over because it's a little bit easier. This is of course available in the GitHub repository in the description below. And the idea is that this here, so if we make a, if we wanna have the block in here and this is going to take a block particle data, what this does is actually, it will either take the texture of the block. So this would now take the Firestone block texture, or we can also go into our block model for the fire block. So right here, and we can add the particle texture right here and add any other block and then this particle type block with the state of this block will actually spawn in the particles instead of the Firestone texture. So just making sure that this works, let's see it again. Right now, as you can see, there are some obsidian particles that are being spawned. They are spawned in a little bit of a different way than the fire particles here, but you can see that they are being spawned. And even if I break the block, you can see that the particles that spawn when I break the block are also obsidian. So that's a very interesting thing that is actually happening here. So that is, well, some basic ideas of the particles. While not the most complex topic and also not the longest, this is actually really interesting. So as you have seen, this is sort of a way that you can spawn particles on a block and basically anywhere where you have access to a world variable, 
you can also just spawn other particles by using the add particle method. So I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and I will see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.